My name is Rabbi Eliezer Zwickler, Rabbi of Congregation AABJND in West Orange, New Jersey, and it's an honor for me to share a Torah thought on this week's portion, Parshat Baha Lotcha, to the Federation family. How many times have we heard someone say, I, my words were taken out of context? Context is very important, not only in general when we speak, but even when we study and learn context, juxtaposition, in particular when it comes to studying the Torah, we look for meaning in the words, in the stories, in the themes. And when it comes to the beginning of Parshat Baha'u'llah, we are introduced with a story where juxtaposition is critical. And that story is, is that Hashem tells Aaron, God tells Aaron, Hakohen, Aaron the high priest, to light the menorah, to light the candles in the Mishkan in the tabernacle. One would think that this is a simple instruction that Aaron would then follow. But Rashi comments and says that juxtaposition is crucial here because God's command immediately follows that which took place at the end of last week's Parsha, Parsha Naso, in which the entire Parsha was really the celebration, the inauguration of the Mishkan of the Tabernacle, where the princes of each tribe brought an offering as a sign of celebration and gratitude to God. Absent from those princes was Aaron. And so Rashi informs us that the reason why this instruction for Aaron to light the candles follows the celebration of the inauguration of the Mishkan is simply because when Aaron saw that the princes brought their offerings and that he was not included among them, he started to feel downtrodden. He wondered why he wasn't a part and if there was a role for him. And then God said to him, Aaron, you light the menorahs. You light the flame. You bring the spark. And Aaron realized that he too had a role to play in the beautification of the Mishkan, of the tabernacle. This is a lesson for all of us when it comes to our involvement in community. There is a role for each of us to play in being part of a greater community, in contributing our time and our resources to make sure that we are able to achieve the united goal that we represent. Aaron's role was to light the flame. And on a certain level, that's the role that each of us have. To find a way in which we volunteer or give of ourselves in order to light the flame of the Jewish future. May we be inspired by the commandment given to Aaron and the way in which he accepted his role, not only with grace, but also with excitement. May we do the same when we are called upon or we volunteer to be a part of our greater community. Thank you for listening and wishing everyone a Shabbat Shalom.